what's up you guys welcome back to my channel how are you guys doing i hope you guys are doing great so today we are going to be tackling the most important video of the year <laughs> i don't know <laughs> just just saying that um but this video is basically you're seeing from the title how to get your in-laws to like you to accept you to whatever aiden don't do that don't open that um so <laughs> i've gotten that a lot so from from all the comments that i've read so a lot of you guys don't feel like your in-laws will like you or will accept you because you're not from you're not from the same race or the same country you don't have the same background the same religion or yada 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 but before i get into the video as i said go ahead and like comment and subscribe to the channel first things first go subscribe like and comment but anyway so i wanted to give you some tips and tricks to help you understand why or things you should do to have your in-laws like or accept you if you're dating someone or anybody even if they're from your country or not so number one thing you should know if you're not from the same country you're black like me and dating a turkish guy you have to learn the language it helps a lot so that's number one you have to learn the language that really does help a lot because then you can communicate with your in-laws now do i know turkish a hundred percent no i don't know turkish a hundred percent but i do know a little bit to help me get by number two be very presentable <laughs> so i'm saying look beautiful like i mean you look the way you look you're beautiful the way you are so they are either going to accept your beauty or not but i always feel like a turkish mom always looks at whoever her son or any mom is going to look at whoever her son is dating like you they have to know that you have good hygiene like you know you're not here with like dirt in your teeth dirt under your nails like you smell bad i'm just saying like if that's or you know hair under your armpit and you're like showing it off now i mean if that's what you like kudos to you there are some people who like that and appreciate that but i do know I that Aiden, don't do that but i do know that a turkish man um turkish moms are very clean they like clean homes they like clean people like you have to look clean you have to smell clean so if you're going to be dating a turkish man you have to at least look clean and at least look presentable and also you have to dress a certain way you have to dress nice um of course you don't have to go out and start buying designer brands and expensive stuff because you know that's not how it is but you have to at least look clean you know they like to see that you can take care of your son because that's all they care about they want to know that if you take good care of yourself then you're able to take good care of their son so try to look presentable number three they want to know that you can cook <laughs> you gotta cook your life away um you have to learn the dishes that the dishes that the the guy the you have to learn the food that they eat in your country yes that makes a lot of sense now so since i'm dating a turkish guy and i'm nigerian i had to learn turkish food because they say the way to a man's heart is by food by eating so i had to learn how to make some good turkish food so my husband can like them so if he likes them guess what he's going to tell his mom he's going to rave about your food to his mother like oh my gosh she makes this she can make that and of course his mother has no choice but to like you because her son loves you right so here's some good tips to keep in mind when you're dating any person who's not from the same race you know you have to learn how to cook you have to learn how to clean you have to learn his language you have to be very presentable these things will get you through the door and also you don't go in acting like uh you're the ish you gotta go you have to be very humble they love people who are very humble like you can have bad background or bad history but as long as they see that you're doing something with your life like you don't come in acting like oh i'm about to rip your son off of everything he has 
I mean like a gold digger and I'm saying you know <laughs> but they have to see that you have something going for you as well and that their son is now basically going to sacrifice himself for you and that you have something to offer him like you're bringing something to the table so these are the things that you should know before dating anybody not just a turkish man i use a turkish man as as an example because i am dating a turkish man so here are some of the things that you can do to help you to help your mother-in-law accept you or like you in general i i myself i'm i'm very like i'm very shy and i'm very like very conservative so i guess that helped a lot i'm very quiet too um so um i don't talk too much <laughs> and of, of course it helped that i'm pretty in my head right now <laughs> so it really does help when you are very you're put together you have a goal and they know that you know they see it and then you can cook and then also when you go to a, and you, you're willing to learn they like that because because i'm not turkish they he, my husband's mom knows that i'm willing to learn how to make turkish food for her son because she knows her son likes that so it helps to know that i i'm interested you know i'm interested in their culture i'm interested in their food so it really helps a lot all right, baby drama over here, Mr. Logan, what happened? So they really like that. So these are things that's going to help you. If the guy is from your country, if you guys just speak the same language, then Logan is like smiling at me. <laughs> if you guys do speak the same language, then it help, it's a lot easier because you already know the culture, you know the language, so it's a lot, it's gonna be a lot easier for you. So the only way to get the family is by your attitude, your personality. You can win them over by being the sweetest person, you know, by showing them that you really care about, <laughs> that you really care about their son. <laughs> He's really smiling, he thinks I'm talking to him. <laughs> We can win them over by actually showing them that you really care about their son, that you know how to cook, you can clean. Of course, it's a different thing when you're not there and you do whatever you want, but when they're there, they're present. You gotta act, girl. You gotta put on that acting face. You gotta be the best actress on the planet. You gotta act it. And then after they're gone, you can be yourself again. I'm just saying. But I hope this video did help you out. My baby here is trying to get my attention, even though he's smiling right now. Uh, but I hope this video really did help you out. These are tips to help you win your mother-in-law over. And I hope he helped you out. Thank you so much for watching this video. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. And give this video a thumbs up because it... Oh, did you see that? <laughs> Give this video a thumbs up because it helps spread my video to other viewers like you. And I will see you in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye. Peace.